Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. For those out there that are a fan of plants but might not quite have the green thumb you want, winter time usually hits a little harder. Luckily, there's people out there to help us keep our house plants going throughout the colder months. And here's Tyler Jackson, publisher of the Manhattan City Lifestyle Magazine. He's at Blueville Nursery to learn more. Hey, I'm Tyler Jackson from Manhattan City Lifestyle Magazine out of Blueville Nursery corner of scenic and Anderson Avenue, west part of Manhattan at the Heritage Nursery of town. And I'm with another Tyler. This time I'm with Tyler Cates. He's the assistant garden store manager of Blueville Nursery. And today we're talking about indoor plant care tips for the winter time. I mean, it's January outside, dead season, dead growing season, still kind of cold somewhat. And so before talking to you as you know, because we talked about this for our January issues, some indoor house house plant tips. Before I talked to you, I was doing all the wrong stuff. I didn't realize that there was such a protocol for wintertime. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Um, so in your wintertime, plants go dormant. Um, they're still green and living, but they're not going to take as much care. So it's important to cut back on your uh, watering needs, um, kind of back off some on sunlight if you can, and also avoid fertilizing. So how much, when you say back off on sunlight, back off on watering. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about no fertilizer also? Yes, no fertilizer because they're not growing. So it's really just wasting money if you fertilize. They're not going to use it. Um, it's just kind of a waste of time and a waste of money. So how much water is too much? How do I know it's enough water? Um, I would let your plants dry out pretty thoroughly. So like during spring, summertime, you're watering like maybe every week or so. In the winter, probably every 10 to 14 days. So something that you would let dry out an inch in the when it's growing, maybe let go two inches. Sunlight wise, when it comes to sunlight, do mm -hmm. I do I need to take my plant? I know you say they're not growing, but mm -hmm. I need to put my plants more in direct sunlight, keep them more out of into the indirect sunlight. Like, what would you do? Um, there's not really much you can do. I mean, the sunlight changes with time as it is. So, like, as it gets colder and more into winter, your daylight shortens, so the light lessens. Um, so there's really not much you need to do with that. Um, the only thing I'd recommend is if you had grow lights, um, like mine, when it's growing time, I have them set on a 12-hour timer. Um, when it gets colder, set them to like six or eight hours, um, just so it doesn't have as much supplemental daylight. In the wintertime, am I going to kill my plants if I don't water or give them any sunlight at all? Is it, are, since they're more dormant, mm -hmm. are they going to straight up die that way? They will. They'll still need care. They'll still okay. need sunlight, and they'll still need some water to maintain growth. It's just not as much as... Normal. Okay, so just back off yeah. on the care. Don't have it so hyper focused as you would in the summertime growing season. Exactly. So as I look around here, at Blueville, I love this place. If you haven't been to the garden store, at Blueville Nursery, you got to take a trip to the west side of Manhattan because this place is awesome. They got a little bit of everything for everybody in your house, even little knickknack items that you wouldn't <laughs> think would be at a nursery or found here. Yeah. What do you guys have as far as wintertime plants? Um, I mean, anything's really going to work in the wintertime. We have a whole assortment, though. Um, Danny, my greenhouse helper, really does a great job of keeping everything in here displayed and looking nice and assorted. Um, like right here, we have pothos, which would be a super easy plant if you're just getting into them. Um, but, I mean, anything in here really is going to do fine during the uh, winter times. The only thing you'll have to do, you know, make sure that you're giving it the right water and the right amount of sunlight. Well, like you said, this is the best way to brighten up your brighten up your indoor space exactly. during more of a down season, mm -hmm. if you will. Yeah. So now, can anybody come out at any time and get advice from you? Yep, definitely. So what's the, what's the exact address on Anderson Avenue? 4539 Anderson. I'm surprised I don't have that memorized yet. 4539 Anderson, just west of the roundabout, scenic and Anderson Avenue here in Manhattan. Come out to Blueville Nursery. What's the garden store hours? Uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 4. Awesome. Awesome. I'm telling you, just it's hard not to be in a better mood just walking into this place. You've got Tyler, you've got Katie, you've got everybody around here that's offering any type of indoor plant tips. Plus, I mean, how many different species of indoor plants do you guys think you have now? Just general species, probably at least a dozen, but from deeper into those, probably a good 50 different varieties. Wow. Okay. So a little bit of something for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's January take advantage of some indoor plants and then hey come springtime they'll be even happier it'll make your house even happier that much better yep. mr case my friend as always i thank you so much yeah, you're course. you're always a wealth of knowledge and you you do good for the people of manhattan with okay. with your knowledge of and, and love for plants at blue nursery
course. <laughs> For Fox 43 AM Live at Blue Bow Nursery, I'm Tyler Jackson.